Well done. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cow AM. Brought to you by Spates, and this is Blistering Tongues. Thank you very much. That was Policeman in Pajamas, wasn't it? Indeed it was. <laughs> very good song. These guys are playing at Fusion tomorrow night. At Fuel, at the bar, at the back, at 9pm. How much are tickets? Any, any three, dollars? three bucks? Oh, it's cheap as. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Limited capacity. Limited capacity as well, so get in quick. Do pre-sales? Press ups, yes, you do press ups. You can do press ups, you can do pre sales as well if you want to. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, Cow M. Today is a jam packed, action filled show full of stuff. Woo! It's a little bit of a flustered beginning, isn't it? It's all good. It's all good. It's all goal, right? Yeah. Oh Welcome back, Cow M. Spades. Blistering tongues tomorrow night at Fusion at Fuel at the back bar. Three bucks. They start at 9 pm. How are you going? Your name is? Glenn. Glenn, I haven't even met you. And what's your name? McNab. McNab? And what's yes. your name in the back there? Mikey? <laughs> can I call you Mikey? Or can I just call you Mikey? Just Mike. Mike, okay. Mike. Sweet. Glenn, now uh, how long have you been the Blistering Tongues? December 95 was the first gig. Yeah. Uh, but I uh, asked together about um, start of the year maybe. Start of the year? Yeah. yeah. yeah and what, what, what kind of music do you, do you play? Um, you? Off the wall sort of punk, sort of grungy punk. Um, in your face, jump up and down sort of stuff. Yeah. Nice. nice. Psychotic punk. Psychotic punk. Oh, that sounds That's nasty. <laughs> Great. And um, and how many uh, how many gigs have you been playing lately? Quite a few. No, we've just basically started because we've got a new drummer and a new bass player. And uh, the bass player couldn't be here today because he was too shy of the cameras. So. Too shy of the cameras. <laughs> That's no good. No, no. So, uh, <laughs> but um, but we'll, yeah, we're all going to fire up tomorrow night. And yeah. Great. And now uh, you write your own stuff. Yes. Yep. And all yeah. original. Definitely all the way. What kind of what kind of topics do you, do, do you write about mostly? I, I love the bananas and pajamas one. Just a bit of <laughs> yeah, that's song. a bit of a rip-off song. That one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love David Bain and you know. Oh, that, I, yeah. I don't, don't love him as in love him. No. But uh, <laughs> but uh, we well, I believe he's an innocent and now. I like you know kind of. Yep. Um, kind of bring that out and just yeah. basically. We like getting into controversial, yeah. controversial stuff. You know, just dig in there, just have a look around. Have a bit of a on. bit of satirical yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Sort of send ups. Turn some heads. Yeah. See what's. See what people are thinking. Yeah, yeah. nice. And um, we, we do hope to go if we're going to get a CD together, maybe? Yeah, we're working on it. We've had a couple of songs, but uh, we've still got to pull finger and actually uh, get one that we can release and yeah. get out there and make, 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 make the Christians go a bit AWOL. <laughs> 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 if you want to do that, you can come on the show any day. Oh, excellent. Yeah, <laughs> just between you and I, though. Yeah. So, um, how many bands are, like you in Dunedin are there? I mean, it's, you know, None. Dunedin's None rich. like us. None like us? None like you? <laughs> no, no. But in generic, sort of yeah. underground, independent bands that are sort of yeah. sift around. The face of Dunedin music's definitely changing. It's all the way. There's a lot of different sounds out there, a lot of different bands. Changing from what to what? Is that? From the typical Dunedin sound, I reckon it's dead. I think it's gone. Yeah. Um, and it's we're working on changing it. And there's a lot of bands that are doing the same, you know, trying to get some sort of new scene to pump it up, because not so many people go out these days. Yeah. Trying to get people to go TV out, you know, get some decent bands around. To, yeah, TV and PlayStation, you think, is detrimental <laughs> yeah, like yeah, anyway. Yeah. The kids today, you know, they're not, not with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need a bit of culture. They do. Yes. They need a bit, of, yes. a bit of amping music to get them into. Yeah. Right, so, all right, well, um, I'll talk to you guys a little bit, you know, guys want to play a little bit of a ditty for us while we go out to the ad break? We yeah. ditty. Yes. Yeah, no. All right, blistering tongues, take it away. <laughs> Have you ever been to a toilet and you've suspected a hidden camera? Oh, at home, basically. At home? <laughs> <laughs> And also, the discovery of a nearly complete skeleton of an 8 million year old rodent the size of a kangaroo has been found in um, Australia. Yeah. Yep, it is three, 3 metres long and 1.3 metres tall, and it weighs about 500 kg in its lifetime. Yeah. 
Maybe it is a kangaroo. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Maybe it was a fat kangaroo that didn't quite make it. But eight million years old. Hmm. What kind of rodents do you think back then, eh? I don't know. It's, and, and Department of Work and Income. Oh, I like wins. Do you guys like wins? I love them. I <laughs> yeah, love them, actually. Yeah, wins are great people, eh? They're apologising to the University of Otago students for taking money out of their bank accounts without telling them. <laughs> what about that? I knew one of my Big Brother Syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Bloody cameras in the toilets, and now we're taking money out of your bank accounts. Yeah, they, um, apparently these people got paid $150 too much during their community wage during the summer. And they decided to take out 150 bucks of their bank account. Sorry, I'll just take that back. Yeah, so if they can do that, you've got to wonder what else they can do. Yeah. yeah, and also, I was reading on the internet today, just before I came to work, young Americans want sex and no weddings. Romance and marriage is out, while casual sex and low commitment relationships are in. Sounds good. How long did it take them to figure that one out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A study by Rutgers University has found that young men and women in their 20s, unlike generations before them, aren't interested in finding marriage partners when they date. They're just more interested in getting it on. And also, I can sing, says Enrique. Enrique Iglesias is out to prove that he can sing and that he isn't the next Millie Vanilli. You guys can sing, can't you? Uh, not uh, in tune, but um, yeah. Insane. Just, there we go. just say loud words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a bash, eh? Because yeah. yeah. Bob Dylan has made a lot of money yeah. from not singing in tune. Bob so. Dylan can't <laughs> hold a tune. That's right. So that uh, leaves hope for me. He's just a brilliant <laughs> songwriter. Yeah, yeah Leslie. In his time. Yeah. yeah, in his time. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit dated now. Oh, uh, he's been around the block. He's times. been around the block, oh, eh? Yes. Him and Keith Richards. They've both yeah. been around the block. So yeah. Oh, you bought a couple of cows in. A couple of wee treats Three. for you. Oh, look at them. Where'd you get That's these? That's mummy and. Uh, Little baby Have they got names? <coughs> um, yeah, Bobby. Can't go wrong with Bobby. <laughs> you can't go wrong with Bobby, can you? What about mum? What up mum's name? Is she the one? Um, she's just mum. She's just mum? Yeah, like do that. you like mine? Ooh. Watch this. <laughs> Ready? Uh oh. Bang shot. Go. Whee! Whee! Watch out, mum. Oh, watch out for mum. Oh, he's trying to bung it on. Taking both. We've also got um, Big Daddy Cow. Oh, back to front. Back to front. Look at that. That's seen some action in the kitchen. Isn't it? <laughs> it, it that greasy it shepherd's pie. Yeah, dirty shepherd's pie. <laughs> and bit of like a bit old mints on it. And bit of lasagna. Yeah, nice. Isn't nice. cow stuff so, um, it's, it's rife through society these days, isn't it? I think it's we've just yeah. started a big phenomenon. Yeah, yes. I'm sure we have. <sighs> Welcome back, Blistering Tongues. You guys want to give away four tickets? Yep. We're going to give you, um, give, them, give the viewers at home a simple question. Mm -hmm. what, 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 would you, what would you like it to be? How do you spell the word tongue? How do you spell the word tongue? It's yeah. very, very simple. I, I quite like that question. Apparently it is. But so many people get it wrong though. Mm. We once had a poster that said blizzarding townges. And it's, yeah. The blizzarding townges? Blizzarding townges. Is it like well, left it in someone else's hands. And left it in someone else's <laughs> hands. That's what happens when you give talent. You know, you don't give them creative freedom enough and people go and spell your names wrong. Oh. Yeah, as, as an artist, that, would, that, that annoys me when they spell Andrew wrong. Tears. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Tears. We just started up a thing called the Catman Do Challenge, fellas. You, okay. you can hold that, Glenn. And do I get to have this if I can do uh, 60 star jumps? Is Six, that right? No, no, it's not quite <laughs> as easy as that, and I'll give you that. Ooh. All right? Yo. That, That's real heavy. Right, now, it's, it's, we, we really don't know what we should be doing here. I mean, we do, we've got some ideas, but we want to we wanna get some ideas from you guys as well. We need to know. It's going to involve an outfit of some sort, and it's going to be doing. We're going to make involve it because it is study week, and it's exams. We're going to involve you in study somehow. Yeah, so we might make you do something in the library. <laughs> library, or maybe run through an exam. No, that could that would that would be disruptive. We'd get in trouble for that. Yeah. Well, we might do something else then. How does that sound? What do you guys think they should do? Got any I ideas? Can, uh, run through the library naked with uh, a, a prize-winning leak up there. <laughs> a prize winning leak up your right. bum. <laughs> yeah. I don't think too many people are going to do that for a polar fleece and a, and a satchel. Mm. So how lovely they are from Kathmandu. Maybe nice something cool. a little bit more tamer. Something with not so much inserted up so someone's near the region. Tame is not really our style. No tame? No. Uh, no. Tame's my style. <laughs> what was that, Monty? Oh, it's Anna. Hello. I'm Anna. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm Andrew. I'm Andrew. People are having fun with that key, yeah. Frustrating with an artist, you know? <laughs> Someone stuffs my key up. You can call me Andrew today. All right, thank you very much, Anna. All right, after the break, it's the news. With Anna, the brand's drop the guns. Yeah, drop the stuff, drop it. All right, get, get into it. They're gonna, they're gonna take us out for the three, ad break. Four. All right, one, two, three, go.
What was your first time with sex like, Glenn? Just I haven't had sex. I'm waiting to get married, actually. I've got 12 million bucks out back. How about <laughs> it? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, then. No, we'll, we'll just take a look at it anyway before it gets to uh, crass in here. All right. Guys, How are you doing? Oh, my God. Okay, what is it? 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 I reckon yeah. you can spoil the microphone. Go. Yeah. Many of you may be unaware of Dunedin's volunteer fire service. These two are at the core of the fire service, helping to put out dangerous fires all along George Street. And watch as one of them plays the finger through the fly gag. <laughs> Stop it, mate. Too funny. Oh, I really like some music. Yeah. All right, are the blustering tongues okay. there? Yes, they're going to sing us a song. Yep. Um, so, yeah, blistering tongues. Here they go. Get right on, on the there roof. With the, get right in there with away. the microphone. Feel free to sing along. Where's that guy's drums gone? I hope it's not. All right, ladies, what about that tongue? Yeah. Thank you very much, Anna. Sweet, guys. All right. Hey, far out. That tongue's not real, eh? No, it's not real. No, Welcome back. How I am, Spates. Thank you very much, guys. Very good. Thank you. Uh, 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 was it good on the roof? Excellent, yes, nice yes. We were going to go bare chest, but then we thought it would be not, might get wreck nipples and stuff. Yeah, no, no good on television. <laughs> no, not Can't that. see that tongue? Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Okay. I got it for Christmas from my sister. Where'd, you, where'd the name Blistering Tongues come from? You've got to ask, um... It's about his girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. <laughs> That's disgusting. I mean, it really yeah, is yeah, quite yeah. gross, eh? Do you, is it uncomfortable? No. Chicks no. love it, though. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> just, just quietly. <laughs> just quietly. <laughs> so, it, tomorrow night at uh, Fuel. Yes. Fusion at Fuel. And then Saturday in Invercargill, if anyone want to anyone get down to Invercargill. Go, make, make a road trip? Yeah. Indeed. Be a groupie, yeah. be a roadie? Yeah. Brilliant. Tune in next week when we delve into the non-existent drug scene of North Dunedin. Brilliant. The non-existent drug scene. None up there, eh, boys? No, no. No, have you, no, no. Have you guys been students? Oh, yeah, yep, indeedy, yeah. What did you do? I did teach college for a couple of years, and yep. then uh, the rock and roll lifestyle took, took, took over. And, uh, <laughs> The sex, the drugs, and the rock and roll. <laughs> it's all good. And you, you varsity? I uh, did a couple of years probably tech. Yeah. Music and in Invercargill. In Invercargill. Yes. Are you from Invercargill? No. Well, that's Mosgiel. It gets worse. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> You're from Mosgiel. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, you got any other gigs set up besides Invers? Uh, going to Wanaka. Um, oh, that'd be a couple of time and yep. uh, do that sort of scene. Uh, 
But apart from that, we're just waiting to see how it goes. And oh, brilliant. But um, we'll be out there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> you will be out there. <laughs> brilliant. All right. Hey, well, thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having yeah, us. We, um, yes. we, had a, we had a great time. You did really well. I especially like your songs. Yeah. Very, very good lyrics. Yeah. Cheers. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Excellent. Right. right. Right now, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you. Um, I, didn't, I choose most of the music videos on the show, okay? And um, I have to apologize to you guys as music musicians because Claire Gibson chose Vanessa. Vanessa Amorossi in Absolutely Everybody. If you haven't heard this song before, if you don't listen to More FM or 96 any more of those crap bubblegum radio stations, this is probably one of Australia's worst musical talented women and one of the most budget videos you'll ever see in your life. That's it. Now we have to show it because she said we have to and she's got all the buttons in there and pushing. Okay, have you guys seen this, heard the song and seen the video? Is this, what's it called? It's not Absolutely like, Everybody. Know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see who Claire Gibson is? <laughs> this is Clay Gibson here. So that's Clay Gibson there. You can tell that she'd choose a music video like this, eh? That's how <coughs> crap it is. Absolutely everybody. Look how budget it is. They went out with a video camera and filmed people. <laughs> Take a look at it. I, I, I'm left speechless, sorry. So walk out. Walk out, yeah. They're <laughs> throwing down their toys. Roll the music video. Bye bye. And thank you to the Blistering Tones. Tomorrow at Fusion, and they'll sing a lot better songs than Vanessa Amorassi. Oh, I'm a Rossi. You gotta get down to get up. Yeah! Strung it on crack. That old bike. Oh.